Hello everyone, and welcome to the Quantpedia Explains Trading Strategies video series. Today, we will discuss an introduction to machine learning trading strategies. Hello everyone, my name is Radan Vojtko, I'm CEO and Head of Research at uh, Quantpedia. Today we will discuss machine learning. I will show you what the machine learning is, we will discuss few basic models, and I will show you the examples of uh, trading strategies that are built with the usage of machine learning. So first, let's take a look into our database. We have more than 80 strategies that are related to machine learning. That's a quite significant number, it's more than 8%. So it's a really, really popular topic and popular type of the models that's used for building trading strategies. We have a very interesting article related to machine learning. It's called an introduction to machine learning research related to quantitative trading. And we will go through that article. I would say that the machine learning is uh, currently the mainstream topic. It started to be really in the mainstream after the release of the recent version of the ChatGPT in the spring 2023. So we have a lot of articles about the AI, about how the AR are becoming better and better and it's really really mainstream uh, mainstream topic what we are interested in more is how to use machine learning in the trading what is the machine learning firstly and how does it work the machine learning is a branch of artificial intelligence it allows the it systems to learn and make predictions and decisions without the needing to be explicitly programmed so the machine learning algorithms learn by themselves from the patterns and relationships uh, from the data and they are able to gradually improve accuracy so there are two main classes of tasks that are usually solved by machine learning algorithms Rhythms. The first one is classification and then there is a prediction. Uh, the classification problems, they are very simple. Uh, it's a task that we are trying to label the presented data. It can be a picture of the text and are trying to decide whether the animal or an image is a cat or dog. And in context of quantitative trading, we are trying to classify the sentiment based on the large amount of news articles or etc. Et so we are trying to classify what is the sentiment is based on some alternative data sets. On the other hand, we have the prediction problems. So we are trying to predict the future outcomes based on the large amount of data. So in quantitative trading, of course, we are trying to predict the future price movements or the volatility of the stock or any other asset. From the technical point of view, we have three main approaches, supervised, unsupervised, and enforced learning. I'm not going into the details. If you're interested, you can read articles that we have about it. What I will mention is the very, very interesting paper called uh, The Machine Learning Methods in Finance, Recent Applications and Prospects, uh, written by Daniel Huang and Kevin Vigrets. I really recommend you to uh, go to that article. It covers uh, fundamentals of machine learning, current and future direction for the use of machine learning in the finance, etc., etc. So you can learn much much more in this article. I will show you just one picture. It's one of the first pictures from the article. It shows the overview of common methods in a supervised machine learning. It's arranged by typical prediction performance and interpretability. The method uh, may differ by the complexity. The more complex methods we have, they achieve a higher prediction performance but they are harder to understand. For the numerical data, the less complex methods tend to work very well. For unconventional data, such as text, images and videos, we usually require more complex methods. So I really recommend you to go to the article. There is a really, really nice overview of all the machine learning methods. Of course, there is a question, is the machine learning superior? I mean, with the growing popularity of machine learning, most of the people think that, yeah, the machine learning is the best we have and we should use only the machine learning. There are some papers that are showing that is not exactly the true. I mean, there are other methods that can be used and they have like the same performance as the machine learning. I mean, the machine learning really, really shines when you have a lot of, lot of data, some new data set, which is very hard to process, very hard to understand. But once we have a data that are well known, like for 30, 40 years, like traditional price data or fundamental data uh, for the stocks, price to earning ratios, earnings announcement data, etc., etc., it is possible to obtain the same results as the machine learning, which is much, much simpler method. We also once again recommend uh, another paper. It's Miller, Karsten, and Schmickler and Simon interacting anomalies. The authors discuss that the double sort might offer the comparable performance to some elaborate machine learning strategies. Machine learning does well in uh, identifying hidden factors. I mean, it's not every time needed. We can just use the simple double sorting and we can uh, build a lot of competing simple factor models uh, based on equity data and then we can double sort on that and we have the same performance as the best machine learning models. So once again, I really uh, recommend this paper. Let's move on. There is another interesting paper. It uh, was published two months after the recent ChatGPT version of, was published. It's called Can ChatGPT Forecast Stock Price Movements? Written by Alexander Lopez Aguirre and Mr. Tank. They find that they're using large language model like ChatGPT. It is possible to do a very accurate sentiment analysis and we can use that sentiment analysis to build trading models and outperform other models. It's really, really 
with the added value of machinery models. So you can use them for data that are harder to understand when you have a lot, lot of data and they are often used to build those sentiment indexes. The question is how many machine learning strategies are there? The term machine learning itself is from 1959. There are a lot of papers, but it started to be popular over the last couple of years. We look at the last 25 years of research papers published on SSRN.com and we did the analysis and we were looking for uh, what is the percentage or what is the number of findings related to machine learning papers and here is the result that we found out. So the blue bars are the number of papers. We are looking at the left x-axis. So as we see, starting from, I don't know, 2007, there are around seven to 10,000 papers published every year that are related to trading, finance, investing, etc., etc. On the right axis, we see how many of them are related to machine learning. When we take a look on the percentage, we can see that on average, it was less than half percent until around 2015. And in 2015, once the large language models started to be used, like um, BERT or ChatGPT, number of machine learning papers that are related to quantitative trading started to skyrocket. At the moment, around 3 or 4% of the papers that are related to machine learning. And then we have around 3 or 4% of the papers that are related to trading that are somehow connected to machine learning. There is another interesting question. So, I mean, how many keywords are related to machine learning? What is the relationship? What are those machine learning papers mainly about? So more than 85% are about artificial intelligence. And then we have, let's call it uh, very broad in nature. And then we have uh, papers that are related to different branches of machine learning, like decision trees, long short term memory, and the forest, reinforcement learning, deep learning, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. They have between one and 2% of the overall number of the papers. So most of the papers are very broad, uh, but there are a lot of papers that go directly to one branch of the machine learning. How many machine learning do we have in the database? As I mentioned, we have over 80 papers at the moment when I'm recording this video out of over 900, so it's machine learning constitute over 8% of our database. Most of the machine learning strategies are not freely available. They are part of our premium or pro subscriptions, but from time to time we write articles about machine learning on our blog. And because I'm at the moment recording the video about machine learning, I will show you a few of the strategies. The first strategy is based on a paper by Jonas Edzwerts. It's called Listen Closely Using Vocal Clues to Predict Future Earnings. That's an interesting strategy. I mean, it's based on the idea that we do not need to analyze what is said by CEOs during the earnings calls, but we can check how they are seeing it. So their vocal cues, if they are speaking fast or slow, with the confidence or without the confidence, etc., etc. So we are uh, using the model for a speech recognition and uh, we are building the strategy based on that. We are buying the stock for which the CEOs are showing that they are confident and it's our machine learning models can find that in uh, how they speak not what they are talking about. When we buy those stocks, we outperform significantly. The performance is around 70%. It's a really, really complex strategy, but that's one of the ways how we can use the machine learning. So not just to analyze the text, but we can analyze the vocal cues. Then there we have another uh, interesting article. It is based on a paper from Thomas Dangle and Stefan Salbrechter. It's called Overnight Reversal and Asymmetric Reaction to News. It's a paper that uh, uses the Baird model. So it's a machine learning model used to analyze the text. We are trying to assess what is the sentiment related to each stock based on the news that are published on the news portals in the journals or on the social networks. And we are buying the stocks uh, for which our language model says that uh, they have the best sentiment and we are shorting the stocks with the worst sentiment. Once again, we have very interesting uh, performance over 40% with a high sharp ratio. That's when we use the machine learning to analyze the text. So not the vocal cues, but to analyze the text. And then we have another one, the first strategy. It's called what do we learn from the machine understanding news content, stock market reaction to news. Once again, that's the strategy that uh, using the large language models to analyze the texts. They show the importance of screening for sentiment uh, charge the words. Once again, we have an interesting sharp ratio when we use large language models to analyze the news articles related to stocks and then trade them. Those are the few examples. The research papers and links to the research papers are part of the description of this video, so if you're interested, you can go there. But as I mentioned, we are not analyzing the research papers and writing just the strategies into the Quantpedia Premium and Quantpedia Pro section. We are also writing from time to time the blogs about some interesting papers. So I will mention three blogs. The first one is the machine learning model that's built on uh, 
facial expressions of the CEOs. We do not need to just try to understand what the CEO said. I mean, what is the topic of the words that the CEOs are saying during the earnings announcements call. We can check what are the vocal cues. So, I mean, how the CEO is telling something. This article is about the way how we can look how the CEO look like during the earnings announcement and based on the face, uh, how does his face look like, based on his facial expressions, uh, we can try to analyze and try to predict the stocks. It's a very, very interesting article, very, very interesting paper. You can use the machine learning. I mean, it's uh, really, really impossible to use any other method than the machine learning to analyze, I mean, how the CEO is looking and try to predict the stocks. The another article on our blog that's related to machine learning is once again related to images. We have a paper that analyzes what are the hidden information in annual report images. Companies once in a year or on a quarterly basis publish reports regarding their uh, the performance of the company and how the company is doing. Of course, the report is full of the data, is full of tables, full of charts, full of the text, but there are also some visuals. And we can use the machine learning to analyze the visuals. I mean, how the visuals look like and what is the sentiment of the visuals in um, annual reports. And then we can try to predict the performance and once again, can build a model based on uh, these visuals and we can have a statistically significant prediction capability. That's uh, another interesting idea to use the machine learning. And the last article that I mentioned is to how to improve post earnings announcement drift with the analysis of the text. So post earnings announcement drift is a well known phenomenon. We have a video about that. So we can use the linguistic analysis of earnings call transcripts. So in this case, we are using what the CEOs said know how they look like or how they said it, but what they said. So we use that to predict which stocks should they buy for the next post earnings announcement period. If you are interested, we have a long article about that and there is also the video. Okay, so let's get back to, to our article. Very quick conclusion. So in this article and this video, I try to give you the general overview of the machine learning in the finance. So it means how does it work, how many articles we have related to quantitative finance that are related to machine learning. I mean, it seems that most of the value is concentrated in the ability to analyze big unstructured data sets that would otherwise be really, really hard to analyze. These are the models in which machine learning really shines. So when we have a millions of tweets, the satellite data, scraped web pages, earnings call transcripts, pictures, etc., etc., those are the data sets that are the best to do the analyze with the um, machine learning. Because in the other ways, there will be really, really very hard to analyze. And the machine learning helps us to unlock the potential in those data sets. And a lot of the papers are related to those data sets and uh, those papers, they have the really best performance. I hope that you like this article. I hope that you liked the examples that I showed you. All of the links and all of the papers that I mentioned and articles that I mentioned, uh, they are in the description of this video. So feel free to dig deeper into the machine learning. I hope that you like this video. I hope that you give us like and uh, if you're interested, uh, please subscribe to our channel. And I hope that you join me in the next video. Thank you very much. Interested? Then pick another video to learn more, or subscribe to Quantpedia Pro and try how our analytics and reporting significantly save time spent on quantitative research.